Well guys, it's Kieran of Killer Kids HD here and welcome back to my Arsenal beta save on Foot Manager 2016. Today we face off against Tottenham in the North London Derby. Let's go speak about the previous fixtures, including a 7-2 away win. Yeah, that's correct. 7-2. So after the last episode against um AFC Bournemouth, we've had a very positive looking um looking fictionless really, but we um, drew the first game in the Champions League against Galatasaray. Coquelin got sent off in this game, which really did not make things any easier for us. We somehow still managed to draw this game, even with 44 percent possession, and although we had more shots than, you know, Galatasaray, they were much more dominant than us, and um, I'm surprised we managed to run away with this game with a point, because I, I, honestly, I took it and ran. So here is the 7-2 result. Yeah, against Manchester Bloody United. I couldn't believe it, lads. I could not believe it. Look at the stats. How the hell did we win 7-2 on the day? We were so clinical on the day. Unbelievable. Petacek Pe 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 had a phenomenal game. Not just him. Ginza had a phenomenal game. Chamberlain, Ramsey, Sanchez, Theo Walcott. All phenomenal games against Manchester United. I don't understand how we were this clinical, to be honest with you. I really don't understand. I, so the, I've, I played this game yesterday, and I still don't understand how we did it. Sanchez scored in the second minute to give us the lead. Then Chamberlain scored to make it 2-0 in the 12th minute. Ginter scored as well in the 31st minute to make it 3-0. Unbelievable. 4-0 before half-time. Theo Walcott scored as well. Could not believe it. Lamella did score after half-time to make it 4-1. Uh, but... I, I, it didn't make any difference. It didn't make anything e um, any difference really. Sanchez scored again, and then Walker got a hat tr is finished his hat trick. And you know, Schneiderlin didn't get a goal, but didn't I? I honestly, I don't get it. Yeah, I just didn't get it. We were so clinical, and you know, for some reason, as of late in both FM 15 and 16, I have a fantastic record against Manchester United. And honestly, I love it. It's great. I still can't believe we won 7-2 at Old Trafford. Only one more goal, and it would have repaid for that 8-2 fresh in Manchester United delivered to Arsenal those years ago. So after the 7-2 thrashing, we were at home against Everton and we won 1-0, Alexis with the goal here. Fantastic performance once again, Alexis Sanchez and Alex, uh, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain once again being the uh, the key players in the game. Because I tell you what, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain has been phenomenal. Now you may know that he's quite good on FM actually, and it, there's, no, there's no difference in FM 16 to honest with you, he's pretty fantastic. So after that game, we were away from home against Borussia Munch and Gladbach and we won 3-1 in the Champions League and a fantastic performance from us um, away from home here. We were clinical once again. The Leeds have scored in the 76th minute to give us the lead but Josip Dermich did score to make it 1-1. But before half time on the 37th minute Aaron Ramsey picked up the ball from outside the area and absolutely smashed it into the top left hand corner. Fantastic goal. And Joel Campbell, who started up front alongside Paco, actually scored in this game in the 56th minute, sorry. And it was a fantastic performance by him as well. He's really starting to show up in this game now. And then we lost. We finally lost. It's been a little while. We hadn't lost since the 3rd of November, I mean, October, sorry. We finally lost and just before um, just before December. We lost um, to Newcastle, 4-2 at St. James's Park. I'm sure Newcastle fans will be very happy with this. Papi Cissé did score off to start off this game for Newcastle in the 12th minute. We got a goal immediately um, for Alexis Sanchez in the 13th minute. Then the game was quiet for ages. And then Alexis Sanchez scored in the 61st minute to make it 2-1. And then it just went all, it all went loose, basically. Newcastle just let it go. They really did. And Jose Perez in the 75th minute made it 2-2. And Florian Tovans, two minutes later, to made it 3-2 to Newcastle. Couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. I thought we had done so well to go 2-1 up, but they went they went ham, really, Newcastle. And then in the 85th minute, Koscielny scored an own goal to make it 4-2. And Newcastle uh, really kind of deserved this result, I will be honest. They did deserve it. They had a lot more highlights than us. And even though the stats say we were only one shot behind them, Newcastle probably dominated more in this game. So here's how the league table is looking after uh, 14 games now. Chelsea is still top of the table with only one loss, which was to us, by the way, I will point that out. With 33 points, we are in third. So six points, three points behind a very dominant Watford side. Bonus, they're doing really well at the moment, uh, which is amazing. I'm quite glad they're doing that. Why is the badge like that? You see the thing there, Oxlade Chamberlain, he's got a blue badge. What's going on? That's a bit weird, isn't it? I'm not sure why it's doing that, but oh well. Um, we are obviously third today, and to um, Tottenham are fourth. So if we win today, or draw today, uh, we're still tied on points. So we need to win today to kind of uh, escape Tottenham here. Tottenham, in the bottom of the table, Cal Palace, Aston Villa and Swansea, Bournemouth, West Ham and Sunderland, and Stoke and Everton, all kind of like near that relegation zone. But I won't... Uh, 
talk about that too much because we have the game today. It's the early kickoff against Tottenham. It's the North London derby. It's a fantastically big occasion for us. We're going to go for the 4-4-2 because that's been fantastic as of late. We've really been working a charm. I'm going to go with Paco and Alexis Sanchez up front today. So here is the side I've actually gone with. I'm going to go chicken goal. Bellerin, Mertesacker, Koscielny and Monreal as our defenders. You have Chamberlain on the right and Elisa on the left and Ava Benega and Ramsey in the midfield. We have Alexis Sanchez as the false nine. Uh, false nine. And Paco is the deep line forward. On the bench we have returning if, um, players from injuries and suspensions. Cockerland returns. Zylo will be, um, oh, of course he's on the bench. Ginter, Galloway, Cazorla, Ozil and Wilfred Brony on the bench for the first time in a little while since he's coming back from injury. Jack Wilson, Danny Welbeck still injured. J Thomas Rizitsky finally making his way back. I might start using him in cup games. Joel Campbell on the bench. Phil Walcott misses out as well. We've got a very, uh, we've got some fantastic squad depth. So let's get into this game then. But first of all, we need to go see the Tottenham Hotspur side. So here is the Tottenham side. They've got Lloris in goal with Eric Dyer on the right and Danny Rose on the left. They've got Fazio and Otherworld as a centre back. So they've got Bentaleb and Dembele in the middle. They've got Sun Hong Min, Eriksson, and on the left hand side, they've got Harry Kane in the midfield. On the bench, they have, and um, up front even, what am I talking about? They've got Vorm, Wimmer, Carroll, Clinton NG, Deli Ali, Kyle Walker, and Kieran Trippier on the bench. How's Harry Kane doing this season? Is he doing well or do we need to be okay with it? He's got seven goals in 14 games. And he's got nine in all competitions, which is okay, it's not too bad, but I think I can do with it. Let's get into this game then and see if we can pick up a win against Tottenham and win the North London Derby. We kick off this game at home at the Emirates in the North London Derby. This is probably one of our biggest games of the season so far as we try to escape the pack and go to the top two in the league. Let's do it. Son with a throw and gets it to Dyer. Sanchez intercepts that throw. Now Alexis is going to be that pace once that is. Puts the Paco on the right hand side. Paco on the ball, he gets tackled and it's a penalty! Fazio brings down Paco and we have a penalty to Arsenal here. Who's going to be taking this penalty? Is it going to be Paco who's taking the penalty? I think it might be Paco. Will he score to make it 1-0? Hugo Lloris is known for his great saves, so it could be difficult to get past him. Paco steps up. Oh, I almost said Paco scores. I told you, Hugo Lloris saves. I know it. He's fantastic on this game. Benega makes a foul, but what a save by Hugo Lloris to start this game off. Oh, no! Petr Cech has broken his bloody finger. I can't risk that. I can't risk that. I'm not risking that. Zyla's going off. I'm going on. I can't risk a broken finger. No chance. No chance. Sorry, Cech, mate. But I can't risk it. I'm not t I'm not having it. Cech's got a broken finger. I'm bringing him off with Zyla. I really don't want to see that. Chadley on the ball now on the right-hand side. Can he get a ball in? He whips it in. Monreal intercepts. Bentaleb to Dembele on the outside of the area. Dembele. Dembele. Dembele with a shot. Zyla with a save. Hopefully Petr Cech is alright. But uh, with a broken finger, it could be a bit risky. Oh, and now Paco's been injured as well. For Christ's sake. This is bloody pain in the ass. We've had two bloody injuries in the space of 35 minutes. So now Paco's got to go off and Wilfred Boney's going to come on. Actually, we need to change um, Wilfred Boney from a deep lying forward to an advanced forward on attack. God damn it, two injuries. Thanks, Tottenham, you rough. <laughs> it's half time here and it's nil nil. And obviously, we have two injuries that are plaguing this game right now. Petr Cech and Paco both have to go off Zyla and Boney. We have only have one change left and it's only half time. For Christ's sake, we're going to go passionate and say, go out there and give fans their money worth. That way, it only works usually in the first half. But. I'm happy with it. We need to be going in there now and getting our first goal of the game and hopefully seeing this game out. Ericsson takes off the ball, um, takes off the centre with Harry Kane for Tottenham and they're going to get a chance here. Kane to Dembele on the edge of the area. Dembele, Dembele, great challenge. Oxlade Chain gives it to Wilfred Boney. We're going to get a chance here. Boney, go on, son, get a pass away to Mertzak. A right hand side to Hector Bellerin. The pace monster's on that right hand side. Can he get a ball away? He does. Axel Oxlade Chamberlain. Ramsey to Benega. It's a nice passing play here by Arsenal. Ramsey to Boney. Boney to Benega on the edge of the area to Sanchez! Out of the gets a clearance away. Son with the Frank is to Eric Dyer to Bentaleb to De ben Dembele. Wow, I couldn't say his name then. Dembele to Christian Eriksen. Christian to Harry Kane! That is a flipping gorgeous goal. Jeez Louise. That is an absolute belter by Harry Kane. What makes it 1 0 to Tottenham? Not happy, lads. Not happy at all. What's a belter though? Dembele on the ball here. Look, passes it off to Eriksen. He plays a pass off to Kane. Mertesacker keeps him on side. Kane touches it. Bloody hell, that's an absolute corker. The power on that shot was disgusting. 1 0 Tottenham. Corner. Nolito whips it in, goes as far as Koscielny. Nolito is back on the ball though after it's cleared. Nolito whips it into Koscielny! Poor by Koscielny. Very poor. One real with Frank. It's to Alexis. We're probably going to make our final change of the game as this highlight ends. Alexis Sanchez running with the ball. Alexis Sanchez the shot and Larissa the save. We're going to make our final change of the game as we approach the 77th minute here. Now, what I'm actually going to do is take off Ava Benega and bring on uh, Santi Caforola and put him as an advanced playmaker, um, sorry, a deep line playmaker on support. And then what we're going to do is switch Ramsey over, an advanced playmaker on attack. And now, what else we're going to do is 
take off Sanchez as the um, false nine and put him as a complete forward as attack. I'm going through this game now. We need to win in this game or draw this game now because I can't afford to lose because the fans are going to go mental. Throw him. Bella into Boney. Can we get a one last chance then? Oxley Chamberlain whips it into Monreal and that's, that's going to be it. It's full time. We lose the North London derby 1 0 to Tottenham. I am going to go aggressive and say, far from please. That's the result you should be winning against Tottenham Hotspur. We had more shots. Once again, the possession is leaking out. Tottenham go second, we go fourth, our usual position in the league anyway. Not a good performance at all. So we lose the North London derby, it seems like Petr Cech is okay, which is fantastic. Fans are devastated, of course they are. But Paco is going to be out for, that's fine then, 9 to 11 days is absolutely fine with me. So at least it's not like 2-3 months again. So that's going to be it then, we've avoided injury of Petr Cech, which is great. Paco's out for only a couple of days, which I'm absolutely fine with. Now, um, by the way, if you want to find this view, I'm going to link a video in the description for um, Foxy's new view. Uh, well, Foxy, not not. not new view sorry it's the view that he uses it's actually fantastic it's so much more in depth and it's really nice and i'm really looking forward to use this more often so i hope you enjoyed this episode the next episode is actually going to be the first game of the calendar year as we're going to go against southampton who are currently 10th in the league and in during that first bit of episode we're going to hopefully um either have a champions league knockout draw depending if we win this game against zenit or a europa league knockout draw if we finish third because, um, well, we are going to finish third, we just need to beat Zenit and go second. But if not, we're going to go to the Europa League, we're going to go to Spurs Day Thursday. But the next episode is going to be against Southampton. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Arsenal Save on FM16. If you did, leave a like. And if you did not, tell me why in the comments down below. And I will see you all very soon for another episode of my Arsenal Beta Save on Foot Manager 2016.